Hey, this is Retired Geek Woman Adventures with Rhiannon with Fun Frolic Friday. And so if you're new to my channel, what we do is on Fridays, I uh, have three different games that I really would love to be playing. I'm already playing three games for my channel right now. And so to solve this problem of not having the time for to play six games a week, which is what I really want to do, I put the extra games that I want to play on a wheel. We spin it, and whatever ends up, that's what we play on Friday. So we're getting ready to select our game right now. So, by the way, um, I want to thank all my subscribers. You guys are amazing. And my YouTube members, I appreciate you guys. This You may give me suggestions on your place on my Discord server for my supporters. You can give me suggestions on games. I'll look at them and we may add them to the wheel. Who knows? Uh, when I finish a playthrough of one of the games that I'm currently playing, which any of them is going to take quite a while to finish, but when we do, we'll either pull a game from this wheel or I'll play a new game depending upon when that is and what's going on at the time. So without further ado, let's spin our wheel and find out what game we're going to play today. I love all of them, so it doesn't matter, right? It's Supermarket Simulator! All right! Yay! I love having a crowd. <laughs> How fun is that? So we're going to play Supermarket Simulator. And I, I want to give a disclaimer in it right now, and I'll put one on the screen. I did have some Supermarket Simulator videos already uh, recorded. So there's going to be... Um, I think there's only maybe two, something like that. So uh, the beginning of this, obviously, I'm gonna go. It's gonna be just like our regular fun frolic Fridays. But the recording, I may not mention it, and so we'll see how long that happens. So, but today it's Supermarket Simulator. So how exciting! Without further ado, let's get started. Welcome back. This is Retired Geek Woman Adventures with Rhiannon with Supermarket Simulator Early Access episode number four. And this is a new game I'm playing for my channel and it's a new way of playing. Um, let me finish my day here. I saved it and then I didn't continue on. We had 36 customers. Products found expensive one. Really? We made 316 profit. So, our new day, powdered sugar, pasta, and flour have changed. Powdered sugar. Okay. Pasta. And flour. And the reason why I did that first thing, if I don't, I'm going to forget. 38 so we could go 250 probably 275 wouldn't be hurting um so when you get those pop-ups there's no way to go back to that so because i'm playing live and i can't back it up it just you know it doesn't work uh i don't have any boxes out there awesome i've got only milk and some uh coffee is all i have so we need to check our shelves we need water cheese eggs bread Water, cheese, eggs, and bread. And if you're new to my channel, I can't do more than four at a time because I forget what I just said. I have short-term memory loss. It's just normal senior memory loss, but I think I got the quota for the family because I can't remember squat. So we need tea, cereal, powdered sugar, and pasta. Tea, cereal powdered sugar and pasta and we're oh we're already at max what oh and i don't know what i got and what i didn't get okay that's no problem and while we're here because i keep forgetting to do this management bills i forgot two days so we're gonna get those paid and cut all the bills paid up and I'm thinking about the licensing. We got our next license gives us peanut butter, flour, oil, spaghetti, rice, and salt, which are all shelf items. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six more shelf items. And I've really debated on the licensing compared to expanding and compared to storage. 
it's like, I don't know. I'm not sure what to do. Look at him throwing all my boxes in the street. The delivery guys here are horrible. Just horrible. Uh, storage, I debate because I've got all these daggone boxes sitting around. Because I don't quite, you know, I've got two left over. So now I've got to put the box on the ground. I hate that. Um, I'm just not sure how that would, you know, I don't know. I don't know when to do that. It's $800 to uh, get your storage opened up. So I just don't know when is the right time for that. Oh, I thought I had more than that empty, but that's okay. So I end up with this whole area over here just full of boxes, and I really don't like that. I think it looks so tacky. I don't know what to do about it. Aside from get, paying $800 uh, to do something, I really wish, you know, I got other things to do. I got products to order, licensings, um, which means more shelving, which means moving things around. So I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I'm still thinking about it. This is a new game. It came out in February 2024, and uh, it seems to be just a little tad bit addictive. Uh, it's just so much fun. I've play, been playing this in between my uh, uh, my more hardcore games because I'm playing Baldur's Gate 3 uh, for one of my games for my channel, and it's so st I'm so stressed when the end of a, of a play session on that. I mean, really to the max. I was hoping that's what I was picking up. And so this is a great chill game for that. They're talking about maybe having shoplifters, and I hope probably they don't. Because I really like the idea of having a game that I don't have anything that I have to in any way battle or be stressed out. The biggest stress I have is getting my shelves stocked. I mean, how chill is that? I don't think there is any more chill game than that, than just needing to stop, get your, your shelves stocked up. I mean, really? I think it's kind of cool. And it's fun. It's like the more you go, the more you want to go. So I don't know. It's just a fun game. Uh, it's nothing like I've had on my channel before. And honestly, I haven't played too many simulator games. The only experience really I have got had with simulator games is uh, The Sims. Well, SimCity. Uh, I don't remember which ones I've played. I think I played SimCity 2000. And I think I played one before that. I don't remember the name of it. Um, so I played that. But other than that, The Sims. I've played a lot of The Sims. Is that all? Yes, it's all. I'm going to toss it. If I can hit the right one. There we go. So this is a little bit different for me, but I'm enjoying it a lot. I, I was watching one of my uh, favorite YouTubers had this. Uh, and I was kind of watching it, and I kind of got addicted to watching it. And then I thought, why don't I just go ahead and pick it up? And... And then um, I can play too. And here we are. I decided to show it on my channel because I was having so much fun with it. So there you go. Oh, let's see. I'm just stacking things over here for our shoplifters. Hopefully we'll never have. All right. We are okay here. Uh, is that everything there? I'm trying to make sure I'm completely stocked up before I stop ordering. Cyril, as you can see, some things are three deep, like Cyril, but the flower is only two deep, which is very frustrating. Uh, I definitely need cheese. Um, I think my eggs are all stocked up, so the only other thing we need is cheese. And we're going to order that right now. So if we decide to go with the next licensing, we are going to need... Let's go clean up our mess here. We are going to need uh, more shelving. So then I got to figure out where I'm going to put that shelving. Am I going to continue to wrap it around like I'm doing now? Am I going to expand the store so that I can uh, uh, put in more racks? So I don't know. I haven't made up my mind yet. You know, I'm still thinking about it. I'm watching a few YouTubers still that are doing it. And, you know, I don't know. We'll see. Right now we have 1400 I like that I'm not broke. I've seen so many that as soon as they get X amount of dollars, they're upgrading or imp increasing or something. So I don't play that way. I'm sorry. Oop, are lights on? They are not. And the store is not open. Let's open the store and watch our people come in and buy things. So uh, you may have noticed that I do round up my prices to the nearest quarter. And it just makes it so much easier, especially when someone pays cash. So that's kind of why I do that. Um, 
it just made it, I, I was doing it just like if the if the market price was three dollars and eighteen cents then i would leave it at three dollars and eighteen cents and then you got weird change so 475 easy enough you know i could even round up to the nearest dollar if i wanted to make it super easy uh but nearest nearest quarter is fine and uh I just, it, for me, it's speed of checkout. I like to be able to check people out really quickly. And if you've got to do weird amounts, that's not quick. Thank you, sir. Have a good rest of your day. For new people, that is something that I say all the time in my real life. Thank you so much and have a good rest of your day. I say that all the time, multiple times a day, when I'm on the phone talking with customer service people. Um, anytime I'm in a store and someone checking me out or whatever I always say to them thank you so much have a good rest of your day I especially say it to people who are rude uh, check out people who don't even look at you they don't say anything to you then I say to them specifically thank you so much I hope you have a good rest of your day it hopefully gives them pause and gets them uh, on the right track to be more uh, friendly or positive or maybe they're having a bad day and it helps them so I don't know it's just something I say. So it's kind of fun to have a game where I could say that to each customer that comes in the store. Take your cash, sir, and thank you so much. Have a good rest of your day. See, doesn't that feel good? Makes me feel good. So, like kind of a little funky game, you know, I don't know what it is about it that I like so much. It, I can't really put my finger on it, on why this game is so much fun. It, it just is. 35.25, not bad. What did he say? He said something above his head. I couldn't see it because I was looking down. I don't know what he said. I mean, the shelves are full. I don't think anything's overpriced. That bugs me. Have a good rest of your day. It's with the cash. 50, 70, 80, 50. Thank you so much. Have a good rest of your day. Just kind of looking around, making sure somebody else doesn't have a complaint. Any complaints? We are just about noon. And there are you guys from the FBI. What's the deal? Whatever. Have a good day. They creep me out coming in with sunglasses on inside of a store. So like, okay, twenty seventy-five. There you go. Okay, let's see what we can put on our empty shelf down here. I don't like making people wait for their checkout. If I can help it at all. And you can click on it from kind of far away. 37 point, whoops, point 25. Thank you so much. Have a good rest of your day. We're selling a lot of flour today. 25, 75. It's interesting to see how that goes. Some days you sell a whole lot of one thing and none, none. Thank you for the exact change. Have a good rest of your day. Two dollars is your change. Have a good rest of your day. It's like a butler or something, a waiter. Look at the deal. 75 cents. Have a good rest of your day. We definitely need to order pasta. And I know sometimes I just come over and order it real quick just because I have may have a customer behind me. Yep. I don't like them to have to ring a bell if I can help it. 26.25. Thank you so much. Have a good rest of your day. Tea seems to be selling quite a bit. 75. I swear it's the same exact customer. Let's look at our tea stash. We are selling a lot of tea. Let's keep it stocked up. Really? Goodness gracious, that ticks me off. <laughs> Look at a good size order. Depends on what they order. Credit card, thank you. 36 25 Thank you so much. And 41 That's a nice order. One of our bigger ones. Not selling much coffee today. Some days we sell coffee just so I can't keep it on the shelf. Thank you so much. And other days, oh, what are we missing? Something's missing. Oh, my pasta. I gotta go out and get it. I cannot believe we're out of pasta completely. Yeah, you're gonna have to wait just a minute. Goodness, 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 goodness. Can't be out of pasta. Can't be out of anything. I don't ever want anybody to not be able to find something. 
So I'm so particular about keeping that stocked up. $5 is your change, and that was a big order, $55. That's a nice big order. 75 cents is your change. Have a good rest of your day. 6.30 in the evening. $60. Is that our biggest order? I think it is. Thank you so much. Have a good rest of your day. What did he say? Milk? Oh no. I have milk right here. Where's it go? Ah, it didn't ding me. I was a thought they were there. Thank you. Exact change. Have a good rest of your day. And oh my goodness. I hate that when we're out of things. 27 25. Milk. Oh. Don't know why. 42. Nice order. Thank you. Have a good rest of your day. 17. Have a good rest of your day. My goodness. It is 8.29, almost 8.30. We need powdered sugar, pasta, and powdered sugar. Come on. Fingers go faster. So, I've cl oops, I didn't close the store and the people are just coming in like crazy. But let's get everybody checked out. I've been watching other videos where people don't do that and you just get people going for like ever and you don't have any time to get your orders. It's not time. The, not, there is no such thing as time. But uh, thank you so much. I like to have people not in the store when I'm doing my, my order placing and restock. Out of water? Seriously? Jeez Louise. Twenty-five cents is your change. Have a good rest of your day. My goodness, we are over two thousand. Look at that! Oh my heavens! How did we run out of water? <laughs> We're gonna end up restocking all of this stuff for sure. I like to close the boxes, just because you can make for sure that they're empty. I mean, we're going to have so much stuff to order. Hitting the wrong button going, why is it not throwing my box? I like throwing the box. I'll clean them up. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> we're getting a stash out there. Okay. I can too, throw it from there. Well, I'm thinking, I don't know, I'm really thinking of licensing just to get a variety of product, but then we're going to have even more problems with storage boxes sitting around. I'm just so bored. I've watched videos of people doing it both ways. No, I don't know what's right or if there is a right way any one right way as long as you're not losing money I suppose it's not wrong right okay time for some cleanup Goodness, we did make a mess, didn't we? We were busy today. Very busy. Look at the money, guys. I'm excited about that. I believe all these empty shells. What was me? Oh, pasta. And an empty box or a box for the floor already. I mean, if we did bring in. Um, 
more product, like six more products, would that be enough wall shelf for them? I think we should probably order the shelves first and then make up our mind. And I can move things around if I need to. That's kind of feels like the right thing to do. Holy Toledo. My goodness. Look at all that. We need to order everything pretty much. Oil, coffee, flour, pasta. And four items is as many as I can remember at once. So, uh, powdered sugar is stocked up. Do we have extra? We even have it. So no powdered sugar. Uh, cereal, tea, bread. Yep, you can order three more items. Well, milk, water, and cheese, I guess. Make sure I didn't order two of anything. I did not. And so it'd be 245 for our order in the morning. And that's still going to leave us over 2000 So if we go to furniture, the next six items are going to be shelf items. So what I think we're going to end up doing is once we get the items purchased in the morning, then our next purchase is going to be a shelf. And we're going to... Whoops. Lean that up so I can remember. Uh, and then we'll probably put that shelf like right there. And then see how we're doing with our items and see if we need to shuffle things around. So let's look at our day. 29 pro customers, 3 products not found, 2 expensive. I, do I have something expensive? Uh, cereal has gone down, but that wouldn't be why it was. Cereal is 5.46, so we better go 5.50 on the cereal. Okay, now I've got to check everything when I don't know what something... I must have missed something. That's not too much for that. If I just round it up, 276, that's okay. So I don't know what they found too expensive. Unless they were totally cheapskates. 192, $2 is not bad for that. So I may find something. Let's see, 504, so that's not too bad. I hate it that it's so busy, you can't really see what people are saying. So it's really hard to tell if they've got something that they're complaining about. Because uh, it says it over their heads, it'll just, as they're walking in or out of the store. So I don't know. Nothing looks out of order to me. No, there's nothing that's super expensive, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about it. So I'm going to place my order for the food order. And then I'm going to place an order for a shelf. And we'll get that all out of the way. And we'll get stocked and then we'll figure it out. I think I'll put the shelf in first. Obviously it's this big. Look at all this stuff in the middle of the street. Oh my gosh, that's too funny. I mean, this is really going to cramp us. But, I mean, we don't really have any other option. I mean, I could, I really, I don't want to, I can't move that one any further back, I don't think. Because of the angle that I've got it. No. I mean, I could put it, see, I put it like that, then you've got this hole. See, that's like jabberwocked. I hate that. What am I going to put in that corner then? Ah, uh, I guess that makes me so mad that that won't fit right there. I think I'm just going to leave it turned kind of catty corner because then it just, it's just the way it just feels better. It feels right. I can't see what I'm doing here. What's wrong? What's wrong? Oh, 
There it was. Can we go any closer? Oh, I really couldn't, I don't think. Okay, so that gives us either two or four more shelves for stuff. And if I order the license, that's six more items. So the question would be, do I cut down on cereal or oil? And what were the items? I already forgot. Mm, management licenses. So peanut butter, flour, a different kind of oil, spaghetti, rice, and salt. So that's six items. So what I... What I could do is do one, two, three, four, five, six. That's what I could do. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. 400. You have olive oil. Okay. Yes, I know I have new items. So the new items would be right below these new six items right here. So can we order one of each? And it's 185 for those items. We're going to go ahead and purchase them. And now we've got a mess out on our sidewalk. So is that, uh, that's that. Okay. So, I didn't keep a small box. That's okay. My gosh, look at all this stuff. Holy cow. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, now we have a small skinny box. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up all these oils. Okay, and we're going to put that on the ground because we're going to use that for one of the new oils. Use a shelf for that. We're going to have two regular oil and two olive oils. I'm also going to do the same thing for flour. Let's see, what is this? Pasta. We seem to be going bonkers, but that's not going to help us. I'm looking for an empty large box. Is it going to help? It did. Fantastic. All right, and put these up here. That's full, okay. So our new storage area is gonna be all along this wall right here. That'll be our new storage area. Okay, what do we got? Coffee. Didn't sell a whole lot of coffee yesterday, but there's been some days where it's been bonkers. Okay, so we're going to remove this oil here. And I'm able to do that because of the size of the box. So let's do something here. Let's put that down. I'm going to open this and we're going to close it. That way when I put it down, I know it's a full box of something. And then just put that one right on top. There. That's better. And that'll do until we can afford to uh, go crazy with storage. All right, so water. Okay. Well, I did not mean to close that. I do mean to put it down. So, that's, oh, spaghetti. That's one of our new products. Awesome. Let's load it up. Like it's is it the end at the end of the box you get eight okay am I gonna be moving anything else let's come back here and double check I don't think so but we can go ahead and throw this box out on the sidewalk and if we need it we can always let's open it if we always need it we can go back and get it oh flour okay we are stocked up on that type of flour. 
leaving room to get by. Let's go out on the road here and get our stuff that the ever so wonderful delivery guys seem to want to throw it in the middle of the road. Thanks, guys. That box got it does. The milk, I've said that before, but this keep an eye on your milk because that box looked completely empty and I would have thrown milk away. How much is it? There was one carton of milk left in there. I'm sorry, small business owner cannot afford to throw away milk or anything. Did pretty good on our bread yesterday. And we have got oil like crazy. <laughs> now I've got way too much oil. Okay, also noticed that I had, I was missing there and there too. Okay, so we're going to put this down. This one here. So let's remind ourselves, don't oil, or don't order any oil. Okay, let me see if I can talk. Don't order any oil for a while. There we go. That's what I was trying to say. I really think my very next one needs to be storage. It just seems like to me yeah, it's full. I don't know why I still have uh, a full rack of cereal. Seems right. Seems like we sell an awful lot. Oh, this is the new flower. Cool. Nice. And this is our peanut butter. This is a new item. We'll put that up here. Okay, cool. Empty, right? Okay. And this is, I think, our new oil. I think it's called olive oil. I think that was what it was called. And our tea. Okay. And we are uh, 800 bucks, huh? Just so that we can stack them in the back. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what this was. I forgot already. Okay, I guess. It doesn't matter. Because of rice of some kind, is that it? Yeah. So we're going to place another order before we open, just so... Oh, salt. And that's our other new item. So that we can have more... Uh, two shelves of each thing. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Should be empty, right? Yes, okay. This will clean up our mess. And order more stuff. I'm excited about these new uh, new stuff. Okay. Uh, the new stuff should be on the bottom of our list. Here we are. Salt. Rice basmati. Pasta spaghetti. Peanut butter. Flour. And olive oil. We'll order that first. And then we'll double check to make sure that we need a cheese... And I think we need some eggs, bread, and cereal. Oh my gosh, seriously. Okay, let's get the new stuff stocked. That should be empty, right? And our new flour, different kind of supreme flour, actually. Oops, let's put that one in here and that one too while we're standing there. I didn't want that next to the new stuff because then we'll get mixed up. And before we start now, we need to make sure uh, that we price all these items. Okay. And our new rice, or it's rice, I guess that we don't have new rice because it's our first one. 
exciting to have all the new stuff. See how it sells. Here we got our peanut butter. Okay. I figure more so the way I figured it is more variety, more stuff, more customers. I don't know if that's I don't know if that's rational thinking or not. I have no idea if it matters. That's just kind of how it felt to me. Okay, let's take a check. A check. A check. All right, cheese, eggs, bread, cereal. Let's make sure we don't have any of those things here. <laughs> okay. I have to do it in order. Cheese, eggs, bread, cereal. Is there anything else? We are fully stocked on everything else. All right, good. Oh my goodness. We spent a lot of money, but we still have a thousand and we have all of this new product, which is so cool. Let's just see how we do with it. Yes, I know it only won, but still principal. Running out of room. Okay, and bread. This place is full. So is my stocking area. <laughs> uh, I may just have to just stock things on top of each other, even though they're different. Just because I'm running out of room. Eggs. Yeah, we're going to have to expand our place here pretty soon. I didn't realize I was so low on eggs. Close that box. Yes. Cheese. And we do sell a lot of cheese. Didn't it seem like that? Okay. It's stocked up. So we're just going to set it on top. Our lights are off again. So we'll turn them on. All right, guys. Oh, and pricing. I almost forgot to price the new items. Oh, if you do that, that is very bad. Look at that. Price is, there is no price, so I don't know what it would have been. 678 is market price. We're going to do seven. Kind of like I said, I roll up to the nearest quarter. Oh, and we needed coffee to be restocked. Do I have any coffee? No? All right, we'll order coffee while I'm pricing things. Okay, uh, let's get back to the pricing things. We got that, we got that. All right, here's our new oil. Uh, 568, so we'll do 575. And let's check out our pasta, our spaghetti, I mean. 662, we'll do 675. Okay, not bad. Any profit is good. Okay, that's going to be $7. And peanut butter. 540, we'll make it 550. Still makes a profit. Salt is 217, we'll make it 225. Now, as far as I can see, everything has been stocked and priced, uh, except the coffee needs more stuff. Everything has a price on it. Okay, let's go get our coffee. Let's get it stocked. There's just the one little spot down there. Yep. Okay. I guess we'll just put you right on top of the tea. Now, 8 o'clock. Lights are on. Let's open for business and see what happens. So I'm excited about this. I'm excited to see what kind of day we have today. Like, come on. We're store level 11. 
I don't know what that means other than it. you have to have certain levels to be able to do things. So like, for instance, nothing there. But the licensees and things you have to have, like we could buy two more licenses. I'm not ready for that at all. Uh, but you can see you have to have higher levels to be able to buy these other products. And let's pay our bills while I'm here. Growth. Uh, we can do... The neck, whoops, sorry. We can go up in size. There you are. Thank you so much for the exact change. Have a wonderful rest of your day. All right, people, we need the money. So buy the good, expensive stuff. Some of these customers put their head down. It's really weird. 375 is your change. Have a good rest of your day. 69. <laughs> Okay. Have a good rest of your day. That was a $31 order, so that's not bad. Forty-four. It's a $55 order, so $44.75. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you. Please start using credit cards, people. So far, so good. Not seeing anything getting too low. I can tell. Since we've got all this stock sitting on the floor, 350 is your change. Have a good rest of your day. You like the supreme flower? Thank you. Have a good rest of your day. Ooh, I like your suit. Very dapper in your suit. 1875. Okay, what is the deal with the, everybody using cash today? Oh my goodness. Have any pasta? I don't think. Oh, I'm so sorry. I may have to quickly order some pasta. I think we don't have any spare, and I don't like that, the way things are going. Here's your change. Have a good rest of your day. Nice order. 51. Nice. Some of these guys... What happened here? That was me. 28. 25. Thank you so much. That new oil is very popular. 38. Have a good rest of your day. A nice summery outfit on. How about that? Thanks for the exact change. Yeah, I gotta order some pasta. Get out of here. And go to products and pasta. I heard you. I'm coming. Where do all you people come from? Seven dollars. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Not a bit. Forty-one. Or thirteen hundred dollars, guys. And the day is not over yet. Cash. What the heck is up with cash? Okay, where's that new oil at? Do I have an extra one? I do not. Oil and salt. That's... Oh, I'm coming. We're just going to have to place some order. Oh, 47.50. Thank you much. Oh, I really want to get an order placed before the end of the day so we can order more. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you so much. Only hit the right thing. 24.75. Two dollars. Thank you so much. You coming to get in line? No, you're not. Okay, let me order some new stuff here. 
Where's the new stuff? All right, so we want that, that. Yeah, we're going to, because I think we had just enough for each thing, but I think we're needing more stuff. So let's get that placed before the end of the day. There we go. Twenty-four fifty. Thank you much. That oil is super popular, the olive oil. All right, guys, thank you so much. Five dollars is your change. Have a good rest of your day. And oh my gosh, we are almost out of pasta on the shelves. And I don't know, there it is. Let's do that real quick. I'm sorry to make you wait. Here we go. A can of tea. Well, there you go. Six fifty. I understand needing the tea. Totally. We got an hour, a little over an hour left to go. Look how well that olive oil sold. Oh my gosh. We sold, almost sold out of the olive oil. Thirty-two. Have a good day. Thank you so much. Thirty-four fifty. I think our orders on average are higher. It seems like. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Oh, I didn't even see you. Where were you at? Sneaking around behind me like that. 8.25. Sorry about that. Took me a minute. Well, it's past 9 o'clock. So we're going to close that. See? They come in after it's supposed to be closed. I don't understand the mechanism of having it be 9 o'clock where it's supposed to be closed and people still showing up. Like six customers worth. I don't know why that is. It's okay. I'm not complaining. I just don't understand it. Holy cow. Well, let's start our stocking here of what we had. Is that it? Is that an empty box? Yes, it is. Okay. Let us do this because we've got new product that is sitting right next to that can. Like that. That new product was right next to the can. Okay. Yeah, this is a problem. Let's come down here and get stocked from what's here. Maybe we can get rid of some of these boxes. And no. Yes. <laughs> We're not going to throw them. Let's, let's stock what we have already. That was the I already did that, okay. And I don't know that we can do much. I was wrong. Okay. Coffee. A good amount of coffee today. I'm not trying to open the boxes again. It's just I'm clicking and they open up again. <laughs> okay, we did pretty good on tea today. Not enough, I guess. Milk. That milk is a problem. Okay. And we're going to need to order more. Regular flour. We have one left. How about that? And we did, how did we do on waters today? I guess we sold a few. Enough to run us out of water. Did I already do that? Oh man. 
It's because we've got two boxes of it. I wish you could combine them when you screw up like that. Okay, no big D. Let's see. One? Seriously? <laughs> okay. Surely we would have sold enough of this. Yeah, we need to order more of that. Okay. Now let's start picking up start picking up the stuff out here. See how much we can get stocked. Nice. Okay. Betcha we can fill this whole thing up here. We sold a lot. We sold a whole box of that in one day. That seems to be a pretty popular item. If it, if it stays a popular item, then it's going to get its whole, sh it'll get a whole shelf to itself. Okay. Whoops. Keep forgetting I don't need to worry about this door. All right, what else we got out here on the curb? We got ourselves some rice. We sold a few. Four. So I really don't know how you would know which shelves or which items need a full shelf, like cereal or coffee, until you've actually just sold the stuff. And I guess that's the only way to know, really. There's no way of checking inventory on the computer, which I hope they add that as an option. Uh, it'd be a nice option if they did. The tiny one. Can I put it on just the back of that? There we go. Now I can see both. Oh my gosh. Oof. And we have 1400 left over after that day. Of That was a lot of purchases, too. It'd be interesting when we close the day, what happens. All right. We'll start here. We need cheese. We need milk. We need eggs. Okay, let's see. Cheese, milk, eggs. We're okay on bread. We're okay on that. We need... C I don't want to order cereal for one box. Uh, pasta. Pasta and powdered sugar. Coffee. It's almost like you can't get enough coffee. That's six items. We have four more items that we can order. Uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking milk, maybe cereal. We only need one, but this is interesting. Cereal, it says price 273. Let's go look and see what I've got it as. Oh, it went down 273. Okay. Um, I didn't know what that little numbers meant. I, I've never really looked at that. Oh, coffee. Did I... So I didn't even have enough to stock, really? And how many did I order? Let's order two coffees. Because we don't ever want to run out of that. Let's see, what else? We've got one more item that we can order. I really think we're doing okay. I did, I did order pasta, right? I know I have such, my memory's just terrible. I did order pasta. Okay, let's finish the day and see how we did. 33 customers, one product they found expensive, which I don't know what it was. Um... 240 store level, a negative 828 profit because we did the upgrade of the shelf 
and we ordered a ton of supplies and on our bills. My goodness. Okay, let's see. Spaghetti and cheese went down. Or spaghetti, cheese, and eggs. Okay. Spaghetti. Cheese and eggs. Let's make it even five. All right, let's order our products. And let's turn on that daggone light. And let's get things put away. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have this all over the place. Ay, ay, ay. It's so funny to hear these cars go by and they all sound exactly alike. Thanks for throwing my stuff in the middle of the road. Yeah, I hated to do that, but at the same time, I wanted to have it in case I want to run out in stock real quick if we end up selling a whole ton of cereal for some unknown reason. Coffee! Coffee, coffee, coffee. People gotta have their coffee. You know a funny thing? I don't like coffee. I have never liked coffee in my whole life. Uh, when I was a kid, my dad gave me a sip of coffee. I think it was around five. Absolutely hated it. And I've tried it since then because I know your your taste change. I know things taste really different when you're a kid. Um, but that has never changed, ever. So I love the smell of it. I think it smells good. I like it. You know, I make coffee for my husband and stuff. But I, I don't like the taste. I never have. So, oh well. Tea, on the other hand, absolutely. I like tea. I drink black tea in the morning and in the summertime especially I drink green tea in the afternoon or sometimes white tea. Um, and then in the winter time in my afternoon I like hot chocolate. I don't know why. Okay. Oh my gosh guys this is getting serious. I want to block my own self. Yeah, that way we can see. And I'm afraid I'm, I could really get this a lot closer. Smoosh it down just a little bit. There. Okay, come on, let's get the job done. Get our job done here. Oh boy, okay. Did I do, no, that was a different. It, that scared me. I thought I had another box of pasta. It's like, no. I don't want to buy more than I have to. Okay, milk is so much fun. All right. Okay, there's at least one milk left that we can see, and I'm sure there's even more. put it up here? I guess you can. If I don't knock them over. That'd be typically me. Uh, oh, gee, Louise. How come I ordered so much milk? Why did you guys let me order so much milk? Don't knock it over. Oh, knock it over. Okay, here we go. Uh, geez. Okay. We're getting there. All right, display is full. All righty, guys. Trying to get the store opened up. Make sure I have all that pasta out there. I think everything stopped. Let's double check. Really hard to tell sometimes. Oh, 
We are stocked. Lights on? Yep, lights are on. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's crazy. This is crazy. I really think that's going to be our next purchase. I don't know what else to do. If I just enlarge the store, it just enlarges the problem, right? Especially if we go for another license. Because then we're going to be going... I mean, I think the next one... We'll look when we're done with this nice lady. I think the next license is going to have... Uh, thank you so much. I think it has products... Go out of here. Licenses. It's got orange juice, soda, soda, apple juice, milk, and soda. It's got six new frozen items. Check our bills, pay them. Wow. Hello there. Yeah, it's a t it's really a tough balance. Thank you so much for the exact change of trying to figure it all out. But you know what? It's fun. I don't know why this is so relaxing to me. I could play it for hours on end and uh, not get bored. You know, keep expanding and figuring it out. It's not acting on my brain. Weird. Change is sixty four dollars. Thank you much. I hope I can catch if anybody says something is too expensive because I really tried not to do that. I tell you what, thank you so much. I, there's been so many people that paying cash the past couple of days. Thank you, lady, for using your credit card. Are some good. Nothing's empty that I can see. And stocking right is a real pain right now because of the way the boxes are. 28.25. So far, I don't think I have ever overcharged anybody. At least it hasn't told me if I did. I haven't purposely tried to. Really don't want to ruin my reputation. Change 2925. And there you go. Have a red rest of your day. Somebody likes my regular flower. Nine dollars change. What? Insufficient. Oh, change. Whoa. I misread that completely. 41. Oh, what did I? I think he meant maybe it was $9 is what he charged. Oh my goodness. I'm glad, <laughs> I'm glad it told me. Twenty-seven fifty. I do not wish to rip off my customers. The premium flower is doing really well today. Nineteen fifty. Thank you much. Have a good rest of your day. Yeah, premium flower. What the heck? Three o'clock and we have to go restock it. I mean, of course, I have some. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, the overall order is just getting bigger and bigger. And I think it's the variety. Let's see if I could find that flower. It's right there, isn't it? It is. Nope, there's more. Ugh, I ran into that window all the time. I like it when they have exact change. Thank you so much. 1625. Thank you so much. Have a good rest of your day. Fifty-five fifty. Look at that order. My gosh. I'm loving it. Look at our total, guys. 23. I mean, our monies. 23.50. Oh, 
1772. And I know that a lot of people, you know, as soon as I get an X amount of dollars, I get the next great upgrade or whatever. I don't run, out, run myself that short. Because to me, that's stressful. <laughs> oh, where's my regular flower? Here we go. Sorry, lady. I didn't mean to try to hit you with the box. I was just kind of trying to help my customer here. Oh, FBI guy. Thank you. Have a good rest of your day, whoever you are. Worst 75 is your change. Thank you much. 24.50. 27. Have a good rest of your day. Coffee's going down a little bit. The rice is selling like crazy. Do I have rice? Yeah, I do. Let me run over here and grab this rice real quick. Okay. Yes, I'll be right there. You had to stock up the rice. Didn't want to run out. 50 cents is your change. Have a good rest of your day. All right. Goodness gracious. 4025 exact change. Thank you. Have a good rest of your day. It's almost closing time. This will be the end of the episode after I get finished up. Try to stay within an hour or so. Uh, we'll do restocking and get ready for the next day and then we'll call it in to the day. But uh, try to keep them around an hour. It seems to be a good length of time for my uh, subscribers. Thank you so much. Have a good rest of your day. And while I am finishing up with these customers, I want to thank all my subscribers. You guys are amazing. I appreciate you so much. And I want to make sure I don't make a mistake. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so, so you can keep an eye out on when I got new stuff coming. And um, I'm playing a number of different games on my channel. There's playlists, so go check out my main um, page for any information there. I'm going to close that because I swear they just keep coming in. Uh, and if you would like to help out a retired senior gamer, I do have YouTube memberships available now. And for as little as 99 cents a month, you can help a retired senior gamer continue on with this awesome uh, activity that I have gr come to grow to love very, very much. $58. Thank you so much. I know I'm out of milk. I'm going to have to do something about that. Definitely got to do something about the milk. Um, anyway, I also have a Discord server if you would like to join in the conversation. And there's a link for that down below. One more. So uh, I do appreciate all the comments. I really do. If you're going to give me a thumbs down on something, then uh, that's fine. But I would like a give me a why on that, please. Um, okay, I want to think about this. I'm going to put. I think I'm going to do an extra milk. I'm just not sure where it's going to go. Maybe we'll put milk here in these thre three racks. Yeah, let's do that and put the cheese up here. I'm sorry, I've I stopped in mid conversation uh, because I wanted to make I wanted to uh, uh, make sure I wasn't making a mistake. I'm switching it around. I'm gonna put the milk on three racks. Uh, because we seem to be running out of milk on the during the day, and I want to make sure that I don't have to do that. Three. Can't believe there were that many milks in that particular box. Uh, let's just keep going here. Let's start with the end. All right, we got pasta. I'm sorry, it's spaghetti. Let me make sure there's none more in there. Yep. Bro, I'm hitting the wrong key. Yeah, guys, I'm super, super thinking about storage for the next one. Uh, there's just, for the next upgrade. It's just, I mean, we can make our store bigger, but then we're just going to have all these boxes sitting around, which is driving me nuts. 
just ever more so more nuts than I was before, which was a significant amount. So anyway, I'm really thinking about that. So you have to take, you'll have to uh, tune in next episode to see if that's what I decide to do. And you're welcome to make comments below uh, on what you think. I think we need this. Where's our milk at? Hopefully that will help us not run out of milk quite so quickly. Let's close the box to make sure. I bet you in the past I have thrown away some milk and not caught it. I'll have to go back and look at the episodes uh, just because. This is salt, right? Little salt shaker. So we'll find out what gets what's getting sold the most and expand on it. And uh, I'll really think about this, the uh, storage issue. And you'll have to stay tuned next episode to find out what I choose to do. And let me know what you think about this game. Um, I'm finding it to be an absolute blast. It's very relaxing to play, but I don't know how it is to watch. So you'll have to let me know what you think. I've got other games on my... Uh, line up right now so you can go check all of those out and uh, I do organize everything um, in playlist so there you can find things that you might be interested in watching and that also when you start one then you can just continue on down through the list um, and watch them all. I have people that have gone back and watched a series all the way from the beginning and they make comments on it all, which is great. There's that truck, and that funny? Uh, which is great when people make comments. I've had people do that before, and you would not believe what that does to my analytics when people do that. When they watch a whole series and make a comment on the whole thing. Oh, seriously? Yeah, I guess so. So I appreciate those who have done that, truly. Uh, it means a lot to me. It means I'm doing something that other people are finding interesting to watch. So... Thank you. I, I appreciate all of that, all that support. You guys had no idea that we would be here. Um, and yet here I am doing this every day. This is my part-time job in my retirement, uh, which I did not see coming at all. It's kind of funny, really, when you think about it. I had such a huge list of all the things that I was going to do when I retired. This was not on that list. I didn't know it existed. So how could I have known, right? All right, my goodness, we have a lot of stock to order, which we will get ready for. And um, since I'm running over time just a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off right there. I'll order my stock, and then uh, next episode we'll find out if I either expand our store here, our supermarket, to a bigger size, uh, or if we go ahead and uh, purchase the storage so we can get all these boxes off the floor. So stay tuned. Thank you again for watching. I appreciate you all. Subscribe, like, share, um, and memberships, all that stuff helps me out a great deal. I appreciate you all. And the most important thing, as always, is have a wonderful rest of your day.